You don't often hear about a Linux distro created by a Microsoft developer. But that's exactly what Anduin OS is. And if that sounds weird, well, it kind of is. This is a Linux distribution that looks and feels a lot like Windows 11, but still keeps its own identity. So is it just another sloppy Windows clone, or something genuinely useful for people switching over from Windows? Let's find out. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into Anduin OS, a project that caught my attention after a bunch of you suggested it. At first, I was skeptical. Honestly, I thought, oh great, here comes another reskinned hack job. Basically, Wubuntu 2.0. But after testing it out, I was surprised at what I found. Anduin OS was created by a former Microsoft developer. According to the project's website, he left during the wave of Microsoft layoffs earlier this year and started working on this distro. And while yes, it mimics Windows 11 in some ways, it's not a one-to-one -one copy. This is still very much its own project, and you'll see that once we get into the details. You can download Anduin OS right from their website. I'll link it down below. The ISO is just under 2 gigabytes, which is surprisingly small compared to something like Ubuntu's 6 gigabyte download. There are two main versions available. Version 1.1 Noble Numbat, their LTS release, supported until 2029. Version 1.3 Plucky Puffin, their standard release, based on Ubuntu 25.04 with the latest kernel and GNOME updates. For this video, I'll be focusing on version 1.3.5, which is the most recent release at the time of recording. The system requirements are pretty reasonable. A 2 GHz processor, 4 GB of RAM, and around 20 GB of disk space. Basically, if you can run Ubuntu, you can run Anduin OS. Setting it up feels very familiar if you've ever installed Ubuntu. The live CD boot screen is still fairly basic, but once you install and reboot, the branding changes. They've swapped out the installer slides with their own Anduin OS branding, highlighting things like developer focus, privacy, and Windows-like design. One interesting note, Snap is removed by default to save space, though you can always add it back in. Flatpak and AppImage are both supported right out of the box. When you log in for the first time, Anduin OS does a really good job at recreating the look and feel of Windows 11. You've got a centered taskbar, a familiar looking start menu, pinned apps, a search box, and even a little weather widget. The overall UI definitely screams Windows inspired, but it's not just a direct copy like Wubuntu or Linux FX. That's important because if you try to make Linux behave exactly like Windows, you set up unrealistic expectations. Things are different under the hood, and users have to adjust. Anduin OS seems to understand that, so it strikes a nice balance. Familiar, but still its own thing. Now, the wallpaper and icons are not original. They actually come from an existing theme called Windows 11 Fluent Dark. But here's the good part. The developer clearly states this on their site and gives credit. So it's transparent, no shady licensing nonsense like we've seen with some other Windows lookalike distros. Out of the box, you get a mix of G-N-O-M-E apps and a few extras. There's GNOME weather, sound recorder, network tools, and even a calculator replacement. The GNOME software store wasn't added until version 1.3, which is kind of surprising, but thankfully it's there now. A must-have for anyone transitioning from Windows. Because it's Ubuntu-based, you can install pretty much anything that works on Ubuntu. But Anduin OS does put more emphasis on Flatpak for graphical applications. This keeps apps sandboxed, which is great for stability and security. One downside I noticed, the help app is still the stock Ubuntu desktop guide, which doesn't match the modified UI here. So a Windows to Linux beginner might get confused. So what do I think overall? Pros. Lightweight ISO size, easy to install. Familiar Windows-like interface without being a straight clone. Transparent about theming and third-party software. Focused on helping Windows developers transition to Linux. Flat pack support out of the box. Cons, still a small project, updates depend on a small team. Some apps and documentation are inconsistent. Might not be the best choice as your main OS compared to Ubuntu or Linux Mint. So would I daily drive Anduin OS? Personally, no. 
I prefer mainstream distros like Ubuntu or Mint because of their larger communities and support. But I'll say this, Anduin OS is one of the better Windows-like Linux projects I've seen in a long time. No licensing tricks, no paywalls, and a genuine attempt to help people make the transition. If you're a Windows developer curious about Linux and want a soft landing, this might be a great secondary OS to try out. That's gonna wrap it up for this video. What do you think of Anduin OS? Is it something you'd try, or do you stick with the classics? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and maybe even join as a channel member for early access. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.